As I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to talk about migraines. I didn't really realize that I was having migraines until about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and I'm not really sure what brought them about. I do know that there is a bit of a hereditary or genetic connection, meaning it runs in families. And my mom, I guess, had migraines. She didn't tell me that she used to have migraines until I started really noticing that this pain was not normal. This was not a normal headache. There are other symptoms that go along with migraines other than pains in the head. And um, I really should have realized that she was having migraines. I know that she's always had headaches, but I didn't realize, I guess, that they were migraines until she told me about them. And I think, not to put any blame on my mom, but I think if she had told me that she had had migraines and what they were like, that I would have realized sooner that, hey, that's kind of what I'm having. Um, so what's it like? What's a migraine like? How do you know you're having a migraine versus some run-of-the-mill regular headache? And I don't mean to say that regular headaches don't hurt and they're not annoying because they are, <laughs> for sure. But a migraine comes with other symptoms. And I know that typical headaches come with some other symptoms as well, like muscle tension and things like that, feeling tired, feeling groggy, irritable. Um, but migraines are a little bit more severe than that. So they cause, for me, what it's like when I have a migraine, I get nauseous. And I don't mean nauseous in the fact that I'm imminently going to throw up. I just mean nauseous in that I'm not hungry, I have no appetite, it almost feels a little bit like gastritis to me, which most people have never experienced, so I don't expect you to know what that feels like, but for those of you who have, you'll know what I mean. It's that almost like, it's like a heartburn feeling, but it never goes away, and it's like this massive bloating, and like, I get that feeling, but without the symptoms, if that makes any sense. Um, so nausea, lack of appetite, uh, it almost feels like you're getting the flu, but without the symptoms of sore throat and stuffed up nose. Um, so that starts to come on first, and that's how I can tell that I'm starting to get a migraine. And for me, and I'm not sure if this is very typical, I think it happens quite a bit, but I don't know if it happens to everyone. My migraines start out feeling like tension headaches. And I know that my migraines can be brought about by stress. So I get a tension headache where I get muscle tension that radiates from about here in my shoulders up through the back of my neck and up to my occipital bone. And there are these muscles right there where if you like start, you feel your uh, protuberance, you feel the bump in your head. There's like a bump and then there's like a dip and then off to the sides there are these muscles that help you turn your head. So if you put your hands, put your fingers here and you turn your head, you can feel it. So those muscles get really, really tight on me and it starts to cause a headache where I get this pulling feeling that goes from my temples back to the back of my head, down my neck and out to my shoulders. So it starts like that. It's a classic tension headache. You know, you get that like pain here and then it goes back. But then, and like sometimes it stops there. Sometimes I just have tension headaches and that's just the way it goes. I think most people tend to have some sort of tension headache. But then, like sometimes that pain will get a little bit less. And the next day, the pain that was here is now back behind my eyes. So usually it's worse on one side than the other. It tends to be worse, I believe, on my right side. Um, sometimes it's worse on my left. It tends to be more on my right. And that, I think, is a classic sign of a migraine. Again, I could be wrong about that. I'm in no way saying that I am an expert on migraines. But how I experience it is definitely a pain coming from my brain, basically the back of my head, up to my eye. And I start to get this pain that radiates around here. And it's almost like a sinus headache. You know how you get the pains here and then they kind of radiate back? But opposite. It's like coming forward. And the other symptoms besides the pain and the nausea and the lack of appetite are, for me at least, massive 
massive sensitivity to light, which I know is one of those classic migraine symptoms. And it's like, it's not just, oh, it's too bright outside. Like I should have worn my sunglasses. It's like, no, I need the darkest sunglasses I've ever had in my life inside with the lights off. Like, <laughs> like I can't see anything and that might be enough light, you know, or like almost too much light. Um, it, when I see light and I have a migraine, when it's light outside, the pain that was here moves along to the other side of my face. It's weird. And I feel terrible for people who have cluster headaches, which apparently is the worst pain in the world, but they kind of have that moving pain and like popping feeling apparently. Um, that's gotta be something awful. So I just, I don't even, like migraines are terrible. Anything worse than that, it's like, no, thank you. Just, I'm, I'm sorry anyone has to experience that. So the migrating pain, the migraine, the one eye worse than the other, and no light, no light in the house. Like if I see a light on across, you know, across the house or across the street, I'm like, get that away from me. I can't handle it. And I do have some sensitivity to sound. Not all sound, but certain sounds. So anything sharp, anything deep, like, and you know how it is. When some idiot pulls up in their car behind you or beside you at a light and they've got that thumping bass that's like rattling the windows, anything deep sounds like that to me when I have a migraine. And you know how that causes you a headache when you're sitting at a light for 30 seconds and you just want to like stab and murder the person next to you. That might be slightly an exaggeration, but not really. You know how that gives you a headache. Any sound that's any sort of deep, even like deep voices sometimes when I have a migraine, it's like that sound and it just makes it so much worse. So how do you make a migraine better? I have no idea. And I know that's not what you wanted to hear. Like I have no miracle cure for migraines. I do know that caffeine can help. Basically it, um, it's like makes your blood pressure go a little bit higher. And it's, that's why a lot of migraine, like if there's like a Motrin with, for migraines and it's got acetaminophen, um, Oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. Like ibuprofen and caffeine. Like a lot of my over-the-counter migraine pain meds have caffeine in them. So it's the same sort of thing. You can have some coffee. You can, I would not recommend a soda. That There's something about the carbonation for me that is just a no-go. And all that sugar, if I'm already feeling kind of nauseous, it's, it's also a no-go. For me, coffee is also a no-go because coffee on an empty stomach makes me want to vomit anyway. Um, what I do is I just go to sleep and I've, I've taken a couple of prescription migraine meds that my mom had, which is totally illegal. Don't do that. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you're in pain like that. Um, and they did help, but mostly they just put me to sleep. And the best thing for a migraine is to, you know, if you can stand wearing earplugs, wear earplugs, wear an eye mask if the pressure is not too much on your face and just... Blackout curtains are awesome. You just go in your room, turn off all the lights, tell no one to disturb you and wake up 24 hours later. That's what I do. And there's no shame in not doing anything until it's over because the more you try and work through a migraine, in my experience, the worse it gets and the longer it lasts. So that's what it's like to have a migraine, at least for me. And if you're experiencing anything like that, where it lasts for three or four days and you've got this like pre-migraine period and you've got this like post-migraine period where you just feel like crap it's probably a migraine um, some people have aura i do not thank god it's basically where you see this like circle in your vision and your vision is all screwed up that's aura and that is more serious it can indicate a brain issue um so yeah that's what it's like to have a migraine at least for me and I hope you found this helpful um, or just informative or, oh, poor Shelby. No, I don't want anyone's pity or sympathy. We all have our crosses to bear, and this is just one of mine. So I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're so inclined, and I will speak to you all very soon.